Hi, I'm Brian with the HVAC School Podcast and HVACRschool.com. I want to talk to you today about the Turbo Easy Start, which is a very innovative, all-in-one, hard start, start capacitor potential relay combination. So not only does it have a potential relay and a start capacitor contained inside, it allows you to tap for multiple microfarad ratings in order to suit many different common compressor types. Another nice thing about it is that it's a metalized film capacitor, so it's been found to be much more reliable over the long run and also more reliable at different temperatures than the typical electrolytic capacitors that we see with start capacitors. All in all, it's a really great product, has a magnet in the bottom, but today I want to show you how simple it is to wire up. If you're familiar with the Turbo 200, it's a very similar technology where you have multiple taps in order to set in the microfarad rating of the capacitor. Inside this capacitor, though, it has many other innovations. It has a potential relay built right in. It also has a metalized film capacitor instead of an electrolytic capacitor, which makes it much more reliable. And it has a nice strong magnet built right into the base. By jumping out various points on this capacitor, which are very easily described here on the side, you can make it anywhere from a 108 to 130 microfarad capacitor all the way up to 270 to 324 microfarads. They did multiple tests on the potential relay. In a hard start kit, one of the most important things is that the potential relay is high quality and that the contact points aren't going to stick inside the capacitor. So they ran cycle testing on this and used the potential relay that they found was the most reliable over the long haul. So let me show you how to wire this up. First off, you have to find out what the tonnage of the equipment is that you currently have. We've got a 24 ACC 460. This is a five ton unit. So we're going to want to use the highest wiring on this, which is jumpering together all of these outside terminals. So you always use black and white. So white goes to the Herm terminal black goes to common on the capacitor to the C terminal on the run capacitor. And so these are wired across run and start, unlike the old school capacitors that use the old 521 method where you had to have a separate wire that went to common. In this case, you're just running in between Herm and the C terminal, which makes it very easy to wire up and is very similar to some other products that are on the market. All right, so before we wire this in, I want to take a inrush amp reading without it in place and see what type of inrush amps we get before we connect it and then see what type of inrush amps we get after we connect it. Now a key thing, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, is that when you have a compressor that's at locked rotor, what we're measuring with inrush amps is really we're measuring over a period of time because your meter isn't quick enough to measure that very first split second. That first split second is dictated by the compressor winding and there's nothing a start capacitor can do with it. What a start capacitor can do is it can speed up that period of that initial starting in order to get it that compressor up to speed faster through a larger phase shift and we'll see that represented in the amperages. So first we're going to go ahead and do an inrush amps without. <laughs> I suspected because this compressor had been having issues with starting it actually didn't even start at all you can hear it trying to start it's not starting so now let's wire in the easy start and see what we get all right so now before we touch any of these terminals we just want to use our 20,000 ohm 10 watt resistor 5 watt resistor 20,000 ohm 5 watt resistor you want to hold on to the insulated portion. This is just the one side of the resistor and it goes through to the other side. Make sure that everything is discharged. Now we're going to go ahead and wire in our easy start. So the black wire goes to common. The white wire goes to Herm. Now I'm going to neaten up these wires here in a second, but before we do that, we just want to make sure that it starts and see what our inrush amps go to.
Starts right up, 77.2 amps. That's what we're looking for. So as you can see, using the American Radionics AMRAD Easy Start is really easy to use. Uh, it's an all-in-one kit. You can use it for many tonnages, uh, and it's very easy to install with many different applications. Comes with everything you need. I'm Brian with HVAC School. Thanks for watching.